Hey 757, welcome. Are you a fan of a good cup of coffee? I'm a coffee guy. If you didn't know, you're about to know. I'm Dean. On this channel, my wife Kim and I explore how to live well and love home. Yesterday, I stumbled across an article in the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. It was on the importance of creating habits and routines. It was interesting. When people can incorporate healthy behaviors into a routine that they perform without requiring conscious effort or thought, they experience better health and wellness outcomes. This reminds me of a guy I met at the coffee shop named Chris. Every day, Chris buys the Virginian Pilot newspaper and goes to a different local coffee shop with his newspaper and a cup of coffee. He has a moment to himself. Now he's a little older, so I'm sure this is good for his mental and physical health. He's, he's getting out, talking to people, reading, having a moment of solitude, and, and exploring new places. This made me think about how nice it is to live near a great local coffee shop. <laughs> coffee shops are a great place to interact with people and have a cup of coffee, which is delicious. Uh, local coffee shops are businesses run by local people, so supporting them supports the local economy. And what's more, they often have a unique culture that comes with them. And some of them even import and roast their own coffee beans. Kim and I often get our beans from a local coffee roaster, so we can enjoy them even on days when we don't make it out to the shop. Now at the risk of sounding a little bit like a coffee snob, I think where you get your coffee may say something about you. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. This video is the first of a few where we're going to explore neighborhoods that are near great local coffee shops in Virginia Beach. Now here's why it matters. More than ever, people are working from home and visiting offices less. Rather than sit at home all day, it's nice to have some place other than home that's comfortable to work and spend time in. Increasingly, Cafes fit the bill. We're starting with one of our favorites, Three Ships Coffee. I can't wait. Let's get into it. All right, if you don't know, Three Ships has two locations in Virginia Beach. One at 607 19th Street, just a few blocks from the oceanfront, and one at 612 Jack Rabbit Road, which is where they do the roasting. The 19th Street location is the earliest existing brick and mortar spot, even though, fun fact, when they first opened up, it was about a block away from that location. They moved in on Mediterranean and built out the first space, and then before I knew it, within the same year, they moved and built out the second space. It was pretty crazy, and that was probably 10 years ago. It's a good thing Brad and Amy got some practice building out spaces early on because since then, they've thrived and expanded. They added a location in, in Virginia Beach and one in Norfolk as well. The first location is some, in something called the Vibe District. Kim is gonna talk about that, the Vibe District, in a video later on. So for me, the most important thing is the coffee. Of course, customer service and other things can make coffee experience better, but the coffee's gotta be good. So here's what to expect from the coffee when you arrive at Three Ships. First, they're coffee roasters, so they import and roast their coffee beans. So not only can you buy a cup of coffee, but you can also buy the beans with which to make coffee at home. But if you're expecting run-of-the-mill Starbucks or, or Dunkin' Cup of Joe, those expectations gladly will not be met. Three Ships is all about the beans. Their approach to roasting is part of something called the third wave coffee movement. I don't have the expertise or the time in this video to explain that whole phenomenon, so I'll put a link to the playlist that answers that question at the end of this video. Check it out after you're finished here if you want to understand what third wave coffee is. But in a nutshell, the main goal is to respect the individuality of the bean and the place where it came from. So rather than exploit it and turn it into a commodity, they want to highlight the quality and the particular flavor profile. So at Three Ships, they're not going to over roast it. Nothing you get there is going to taste burnt. In fact, if you're new to third wave coffee, you'll be surprised how much the flavor of their coffee reminds you that it was originally a fruit. It's delicious. All right, so here's how the beans go. They sell a lot of single origin bags of coffee, which 
for you novices out there means that all the beans in that particular bag you are buying come from the same farm. The single origins uh, only come in these, these smaller 12 ounce bags. By looking at the label, you can tell how much attention they pay to the details. On each single origin bag, they give you tasting notes. If you tasted it before looking at the bag, you might be surprised at how well the tasting notes described what you might not have even realized that you tasted. The label includes information about the elevation and location where the beans were grown and how they were processed at the farm and the type of coffee bean, also known as a variety. That's right, noobs. There are different varieties of beans, just like there are different varieties of apples. And they have that information on the label. They also handwrite on the label what date those particular beans were roasted and what batch number they're on. So here's a tip. The higher that number, the more they've worked on the roast. So in some cases, the better they've gotten at bringing out its best flavor. So try a single origin coffee on batch number one and then again on batch number 10 and tell me if you don't sense a difference. If you see a last chance do or die sticker on the bag, you better just buy it. By the time this sticker is on the bag, they've roasted several batches of this bean and have brought it as close as possible to perfection. And also, they're not buying any more of those beans for the season. In addition to the single origin beans, they also have a few blends that they have available. They come in both the 12 ounce bag and the three pound bags. Their signature blend is the Steady Hand Blend. It's a mix of Central and South American beans. It's intended to be approachable for the average consumer, regardless of the brewing method. Year round, they also sell an espresso blend called Ship Town and Salty Dog, which is the most affordable of the three. Periodically, they create a holiday blend as well. The crew there is really friendly, helpful, and, and well-informed. Uh, they don't make, they make very good drinks, but they're not gonna make the run-of-the-mill frappe, latte, fufu, you know, cloud drinks. Uh, they do have a pungo latte, which is made with locally sourced uh, produce, and it changes based on what's in season. And uh, they also make their own almond milk, and they do everything possible to accentuate the beans. It's all about the beans for them. Believe it or not, they are not coffee snobs there either. It's important to them that coffee is accessible to everyone. Of course, they have food and pastries, and I'm gluten-free, so I always get one of the gluten-free options that are on the menu. The decor is nautical-inspired and pretty comfortable, mostly wood. The only place you don't want to sit is right in front of the window. It looks like a great place to sit, but it gets hot there really quickly. I see a lot of new people come, sit there for about 20 minutes, and then make a move to another seat. <laughs> I've seen them do a lot also to make, the, make it comfortable to sit outside as well. Uh, most of the seating is outside is new. Recently, they added a bunch of coffee paraphernalia that helps coffee nerds like me to experiment with different ways to take your coffee game up a notch. As you can tell, I really enjoy it there. I'm there a couple of times a week. Now, if I lived in Beach Borough, I would likely be there more often because that's the neighborhood nearest the 19th Street location. Well, it's actually a bit too big to call it a neighborhood. It's, it's a subdivision. It goes from Atlantic Avenue on the east uh, down to about Norfolk Avenue where Shadow Lawn starts and up to Laskin Road on the north where Birdneck Point begins and over to Birdneck Road on the west where Birdneck Acres begins. It's a big area, maybe four miles. And it's all just motion moments from the oceanfront. So it has a really nice beachy vibe. Walking around, I see lots of short-term rentals, and uh, when you look at what's sold in the area, 75% of them are attached homes. There are a lot of condos in this area. The homes in this area were built anywhere from 1914 to 2024, so you're likely to see a mix of homes of various ages right next to each other. The average attached home in this area has about two bedrooms and about 1,300 square feet. But the average detached home is a little bigger with three bedrooms and about 1,700 square feet. The prices do vary quite a bit depending on the quality 
uh, and type of property. Now, if you start looking at homes in this area, make sure you check to see whether there is a condo fee and how much it is. That can impact what you can buy quite a bit. For example, I noticed that there's a one bedroom com condo overlooking the water at Summers Point on the market now for 325, but it has a condo fee of $400 a month. So some of the other perks of living in the Beach Borough area are proximity to the Mu Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art, the Virginia Beach Convention Center, this, this uh, sports center, as well as the Way Park that's currently um, under construction. And I always like Lolly's Creamery and the little uh, Montessori school over there called Organic Beginnings. There's so many great things happening in that area that I'm sure I missed many of them. I guess I spent a little too much time talking about the coffee. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Let me know everything I missed in the comments. And of course, if you want more info about homes in Beach Borough, shoot me a message. I'll get you a list. Next week, we're going to talk about some other neighborhoods near other great coffee shops in Virginia Beach. Do you have any favorites? If so, put them in the comments and we'll be glad to check them out. If you watched this far, <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful. It was a long video. So here's my gift to you. Send us a text with your mailing address and you'll be entered into a drawing to get a gift card to Three Ships Coffee sent to you. I'll announce the winner in my next video. Thanks for watching. If this was valuable to you, please do all the things you do on YouTube to show your appreciation. It's helpful to us to know that what we're doing is adding value to your lives. See you next week. Until then, remember to live well and love home. Peace.